Hey guys, welcome to the hunting challenge. Today I'm kicking off a series of three short videos that will take you all the way through my process of purchasing a new bow to preparing you for this hunting season. I'm on my way now to Blackwater Sports a sporting goods store in Violent. I'm in South Jersey and uh, it's been quite an adventure already. The main reason this has been such a journey is all a result of COVID. I ordered the bow that I selected on March 13th. The next day, basically the country shut down. So all bow builders had to stop building bows. I've been shooting a Hoyt, the same Hoyt probably for the last uh, 20 plus years. And I, I figured it was time to upgrade my bow. And uh, I was dead set on a Hoyt. And earlier in March, I went to Blackwater and shot a few different bows. So I didn't really know which one to pick until I started shooting them. So finally, this past week, is today is June 29th. Last week, I think the 14th, maybe that's two weeks ago, the bow finally shipped. And uh, so I'm going there now, I'm excited. We're gonna get fitted for it. I'm gonna show you the two different bows that I was battling back and forth with. And uh, we'll figure out, I'll share with you why I chose the bow that I chose, uh, the top three reasons why I chose it. And then through the rest of this series, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna have to re retest the hand load. If you look at this video, and I'll, po I'll post it up here, I did a hand load testing on my old bow. Uh, and if you don't know what hand load testing is, that, that video will show you. I think it's very important. But the fact that I'm getting a new bow, I'm gonna have to retest it, and then I'll have to order my arrows specific to what I figure out through that test, and then I'm gonna sight it in. And I'm gonna sight it in in a, in, a, in a different way that I've never sighted it in, perhaps a different way that you never have sighted in your bow before too. So come along with me. We're going to the sporting goods store to get a new bow. From my other videos, you know that I'm a proponent for supporting local businesses. I think it's even more important now as a result of the pandemic that is going on. Blackwater Sports Center is run by a father-son team with the same name, Jeff Shaw. Although the store has been serving sportsmen for over 60 years in the Vineland area, Jeff and his dad, Jeff, have been running it for 30 years. They have a wide array of products and services for hunting and fishing. Jeff, the son and I, used to play Little League Baseball together and went to the same high school together as well. Being able to be in communication with Jeff over this national shutdown was incredible and we were able to work together through those four months to make this day of buying a new bow possible for me. If you live in the South Jersey area and want a team of people that will take care of you and your equipment at a very fair price, I really encourage you to go check out Blackwater Sports Center. Now, as I mentioned earlier, back in March, I came to Blackwater Sports Center to test out a few bows. I was pretty sure I was going to go with the Hoyt Axius because I love the Hoyt that I used for nearly 20 years. Plus, I was skeptical about the Matthews for two reasons. First, I had shot a friend's Matthews a few years ago and it would rock forward in my non-shooting hand and I felt like the bow was fighting against me. And I also heard that shorter bows were more difficult to shoot accurately. But after shooting both the Hoyt and the Matthews VXR 28, I ended up going with the Matthews VXR 28. So today, this is the bow I'm getting fitted for. After deciding on the Matthews, I went onto their website and started building my bow. I was able to choose which bow I wanted, the draw weight and the draw length, the color of the strings and cables, and so much more. I then sent the design specs to Jeff and he placed the order for me. Now, four months later, Jeff is setting up and tuning my new bow. After getting the peep sight just right, Jeff took the bow downstairs to paper tune it and then we went outside to shoot a few arrows. 
After the first arrow flew, I knew I made the right choice. The three reasons why I chose this bow are, number one, it's very light. It weighs just under four and a half pounds. I also love the fact that the axle to axle length is only 28 inches. This will make maneuverability in the tree saddle and on the ground so much better. The second reason was because the 85% let off. With the 85% let off and a strong rock solid back wall, it seems like I'll be able to hold at full draw for as long as I need to. The third and final reason why I went with the Matthews was really overall performance. I was amazed of how quiet and smooth the bow was out of the box. Although at first the bow did want to rock slightly forward in my non-shooting hand, the problem was easily resolved with a counterbalance. And man, I'll tell you what, I love this bow. That's cool, I got a new hat from him. Nothing wrong with that. Fits good. All right, let's get on the road here. So we are in business. Got the new bow. Work with Jeff, you've got me a, a Blackwater hat here. And uh, good overall experience, man. So the next step in this process is to retest the hand load, see how it differs from my old bow to my new bow. Uh, before I send off an order for arrows, I wanna make sure the bow's shooting the best way for me, which is why I, why I will do a retesting on the hand load and not just assume that, well, I figured it out, my old bow has gotta work with this bow. That's important to me. Uh, that'll be in, in the next video. The testing video will be next with the new bow. And then after that one, we'll do a, um, a video sighting in the way that Ranch Ferry did it. And you can probably go check out his video. I've seen it once. I'm gonna watch it a few more times and make sure I understand it. But what he said in that video was very good. And I'm just gonna take what he said, put it into practice just like I'm doing this. But again, it's kind of like I'm a musician. I play the guitar, I also golf. It's like when you pick up a guitar, you're not looking at prices or anything. You just pick up the guitar and then, you know, it fits, it feels good. So that's kind of how it was with me with, with the, um, with, with the bow. I, I picked up the bow and it felt good. We, so it was a good day. I'm excited.